Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Alhamdulillahi rabbil alameen. Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyina Muhammad. Wa ala alayhi wa sahbihi wa sallam. Amma ba'da habita fillah. The question was asked about advising a mubtadi'ah. Should we advise people? And so it's important for us to get an understanding uh, of how the ulama deal with this, this uh, mas'ala. And the question was asked, is it permissible to keep the company of or talk to an innovator or is it better to boycott him? The answer was provided, that was provided, <clears throat> it is befitting to advise the innovator before anything, as he, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, said, adina uh, nasiha, the religion is sincere advice. Who said, uh, we said, to whom? <clears throat> he said, to Allah and his book and his messenger and to the leaders of the Muslims and their common folk, transmitted by Muslim. So it is hope that Allah will guide him because of you. And if you are incapable of offering him advice, then it's better to leave him. And it is not permissible to keep the company of... to keep the company of an innovator. Nor is it befitting to sit in his company because of the likes of him are best kept away from. It is quite possible a person will become lenient whilst in his company and thereafter one day become like him and we ask Allah for safety and good health. And this was the answer of Sheikh Muhammad ibn Abdullah As-Subayl, Hafidhullah Ta'ala. And there's very uh, many important benefits there that the Sheikh uh, mentioned and that is that he mentioned that the one who, or what can be implied from what he mentioned, or inferred from what he mentioned, is very clear, that the one who has knowledge, then they should advise that person, you know, because they have knowledge of their mistakes and they're seeking to give them, uh, you know, a deen and a seha. He gave the nas, the nas from the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, that comes before anything, kitab wa sunnah. So he, he gave a nas, which was delil, he made istidlal of that delil, uh, of that, uh, that, that, that text, to show that first, you should advise. It's, it's, it's better to advise. And this also goes in accordance with another hadith of the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, wahidin khayran min nam. That if one person is guided from you to Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala, it is better for you than the red camels. So, we see the importance of da'wah and giving it sincere advice, even to the mubtadiyah, if you are able to do so. And again, the second point I want to mention that the Sheikh mentioned is that if you're able to do so, meaning some people, they might not have the tools and they might be, uh, and they're fearful of falling into the, uh, into the bid'ah or being lenient and becoming like them so they don't have the ability, so they should avoid them altogether if someone is a muftedia. So that way they are not influenced by them because they don't have the tools to refute, they don't have the tools to uh, even give them sincere advice because sincere advice requires ilm as a prerequisite. You can't advise someone with something you don't know. And we ask Allah the Almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil.